In day one of the Summer Championships over at Nerd Street, we got to see six games of Apex Legends, three of them on World's Edge and three of them on Storm Point. The first game was an interesting one. Optimal Ambition were in the driver's seat and it was in large part a landslide slash staging zone. But in a surprising turn of events, the fight for the high ground ended up with the team from the low ground taking it as everyone fell into three rollers and they took game one. Nice start. However, game two became championship territory. HCH ended up winning very cleanly, I might add, a fight and therefore the game over by Thermal in a little bit of an anticlimactic way, just sort of jumping from team to team and eliminating them. All Glory had their comeback in game three, picking up an unexpected win. Despite their power position, an excellently placed Valkyrie ultimate was the thing that disrupted the game just enough for All Glory to take the game away from Redeem. Over by Dome. They play this one slow, they play this one safe, and they take game three off. Make sure they can't get out easily. There is the... Oh, the no. tether is disgusting. After that, we transitioned into Storm Point. And Storm Point is where we can say things did get a little bit messy. OG Wash, who actually drew first blood of the entire season in game one, ended up finally coming up with a win, and it was a zone that ended over by Mill. It wasn't our last one of the day, mind you. OG Wash took the game away from HCH, though, who ended in second place with 11 kills. Round on them. Oh, geez. This rock dank's gotta be careful, but he's got the ability to grab height on this Valkyrie with this car is doing so much work as well. Game five was a revenge tour, with, well, revenge tour taking the win, and in a pretty clean fashion, over by North Pad, they managed to evade a lot of focus and honestly turn things around in a very confusing fashion by playing a nice rock outcropping that nobody really seemed focused on. Lazarus tried to do it, BMM tried to do it, but nobody could upset Revenge Tour. Different squad popping up here. It's going to be BMM to go out, leading Revenge Tour as they're hunting them on this low ground, and it is a battle. In game six, Lazarus did finally get their win, and it's a good thing too, because they'd actually been performing really well during the day. But Revenge Tour ended up coming in a close, close second and actually clinched top three off of that with yet another fight and game happening over by Mill. Lazarus able to This left us overall with a day going HCH, Lazarus, and then Revenge Tour, with Revenge Tour by far having the most impressive run up as after game three, they rocketed themselves with two games to nearly the top of the leaderboard. Lazarus had a relatively consistent day, picking up the win, and doing pretty well, but it was HCH that really impressed, just playing ahead above the rest, and especially on Storm Point, controlling high ground like nobody's business. That was day one of the Nerd Street Summer Championships in Apex.